It's Wednesday Wonders, science fiction and fantasy on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. This is the Transmissions from Atlantis Entertainment Network. Expand your wonder. Strike your colors, you brazen winch. Does this be brazen winch productions? Arr! Project Continuum, Senate Subcommittee Mission Log. Audio version. Senators, please remember this recording is classified top secret, Mobius, and the content should not be removed from these secure chambers. No recording devices, cell phones, or other copying devices are permitted while this audio is playing. Upon completion, please return the container of the recording to the courier. Transcripts provided are for your eyes only. Mission 221-735, my father's keeper. The following is recorded from the Continuum Base, Malmstrom Air Force Base, Montana. You have to talk to us at some point, Alala. To the people who butchered my baby girl? I don't think so. We didn't butcher her. She went of her own free will to save Ace. I saved Dr. Barber, not you lot. Yes, you did. And we're grateful for that. But at the cost of my own beautiful daughter. Azamura meant a lot to all of us, Dr. Lala. She was my mentor. If it wasn't for her, I would have never even joined the Continuum Force. And perhaps you shouldn't. None of you should have. You're messing with things you simply cannot comprehend. And help us. Make us understand what the bogeys... The divas... Whatever. What are they trying to accomplish by changing our history? <sighs> You're a fool, Colonel Dannard. A fool who will perish in the fires with the rest of you fools when those who truly rule this world return. We simply do not have time for this. Time? Time is all we have left, Dennard. Time is flowing. It flows backwards and forwards through space. It expands, it contracts, as does the cosmos. I know you're too ignorant to comprehend. Connor! You're gonna tell me what we need to know, or so help me God. Colonel Dennard, report to my office immediately. Take this traitor's piece of trash back to the brig, sir. What in Sam Hill do you think you're doing, Colonel? Interrogating the prisoner as you requested, General. It looked to me like you were gonna choke the life out of him. He has intel we need. I need to extract it by any means necessary. No, we don't do that here. 
Sir? That kind of nonsense may go for interrogation techniques in Guantanamo Bay or in the field in Iraq, but not here. We do not torture our prisoners. Is that understood? Even if the fate of the world hangs in the balance? It always hangs in the balance, Colonel. It always has. I am not a believer in enhanced interrogation techniques. In all of my years, I've never received one shred of actionable intel based on those methods. At some point, the subject simply will tell you whatever you want to hear to make the pain go away. My experience is different, sir. James Bond and Jack Bauer aren't real, Colonel. No, they aren't. But I knew many men like them. I used to be one of them. Or did you forget that? The debate is over. You will not put hands on Enric Alala again, or you will be thrown into a cell right next to him, and that commission I gave you will be stripped back to where you're scrubbing barrack latrines. Am I understood, Colonel Dannard? Sir, yes, sir. Hello, Doctor. Ah, the fearless leader. Who has complete autonomy now that my daughter is dead? I'll have you know she and the others left without my knowledge or my authorization. So, am I to excuse you for your poor leadership ability? I don't need you to excuse me, Doctor. I need you to tell us what it is you're here to tell us and stop monkeying around. <laughs> Monkey. Interesting reference. That is all we are to them, you know. Slightly evolved <laughs> monkeys. To who? The Divas or the Titans? Oh, so you know of the Titans then. And of the Rosicrucians as well. Finally, a monkey with a brain. So tell me more or I'll let Dannard have another go at you. Ah, well, that didn't last long. You can't help be what you are. And what are you, Doctor? Are you not human? I was. Was? Uh, I am, and I am not. I have been uh, enhanced, so I could comprehend the teaching of the gods. They are not gods. They are, in every sense of the name. Okay, I tell you what. Why don't you start at the beginning? Your disappearance. We thought you died back in the 60s, but somehow you survived. Yes, well... I'm certain you know up to when we were attacked by the T-Rex. That's when the Roswell craft strung back and left me. Yes. I ran for my life, but the T-Rex was so fast. I leapt through the wooded areas and the trees flew it down. Of course, not many know the T-Rex has its own predator, the sea lions. I was lucky, really. The sea arts weren't interested in me. Their prey was the Rex. I was there a month. A hellscape. When I wasn't being hunted by velociraptors, uh, did you know they had feathers? And what about the size of a turkey? And I might add, Jurassic Park gave them way too much credit. They're quite stupid. Formidable hunters, but easy to outsmart. I would find what food I could manage. Sometimes scavenging along with some of the smaller dinosaurs on a larger predator's kill. I learned the hunting grounds of the T-Rex, making sure I stayed downwind. It rained quite a lot, so I was able to find fresh water and boiled it to kill any bacteria that our immune systems hadn't accounted for in the last 65 million years. One night, I was stirred awake by a strange sound. I never ventured out at night, for good reason. Way too many predators hunted at night, but this sound was different, like nothing I had heard in the weeks I had been there. I saw it, a diva's ship. 
At first, I thought it was my team returning to search for me. Suddenly, a blinding light surrounded me. The ship descended lower right above me, and I felt myself lift off the ground, into the air, and into the ship. I was rendered unconscious. From the creators of Continuum Force comes a spine-tingling horror audio fiction, Vampires of Whitechapel. Come into the world of Ariana Grayson, an FBI agent who tracked down the serial killer, Alistair the Annihilator, only to discover he is a real vampire, sired by the infamous Jack the Ripper, and he has been hunting her. Vampires of Whitechapel, available on Apple Podcasts, Google, and wherever else you listen to your favorite audio fiction podcasts. When I came to, I was strapped to an operating table. They had been experimenting on me. I was naked. A creature, one of the gods, I believe you refer to them as the Greys, approached me. I could hear its voice in my head, but its lips never moved. What are you? Where, where am I? You are out of your time. You don't belong here. Uh, I am from Earth. This I know, but not this Earth. Uh, no? What? What have you done to me? We have been testing you probing, trying to figure out how one of your species could be in this time. It was by mistake. We were experimenting with a device, and it sent me back here. A device? A time device? Your species couldn't have mastered time travel yet. We apparently have, by mistake. Fascinating. And then? And then, they showed me the ways of the universe you couldn't possibly comprehend. Tell us about the Rosicrucians. Colonel Dennard, I didn't realize the General let you off your leash. Welcome back. The Rosicrucians, Alala. Yes. They are the real traitors to humanity. They have been conspiring since 1500 BCE with the false gods, the Titans, secretly paving their way. I don't understand. Why would that be necessary? If they're this huge alien race, they should just invade. It's not as simple as that, child. The Titans know this world has weapons and free will. We would rather blow ourselves up than submit to become slaves and food for them. They eat us? I'm sorry, Colonel. I've seemed to upset her. Focus on the Rosicrucians. How do they help? (sighs) They're the shadow government you hear so much about. The Illuminati? (sighs) They were nothing compared to the Rosicrucians. I've done research on the Rosicrucians, and they're a very peaceful community that studies mysticism and believes in the metaphysical laws governing the universe. Dr. Schersberg. Oh, it's a party now. Are there hats? They study things like waking psychic consciousness, connecting to the cosmic consciousness, healing by thought, sacred architecture, and spiritual alchemy. And the illusory nature of time and space. There is literally nothing that says they have the goal of world domination. You don't exactly advertise that part on the tin, Doctor. Fordham believed they were the threat. Fordham? Captain Jason Fordham? How do you know him? How do you? You've been to the future, haven't you? Maybe. You have. It's the only way you could possibly know that trash miner. Ah, it's all coming together now. That's how you know about the Titans and the Rosicrucians. Hmm, unforeseen. But it doesn't make any sense. You can't have an entire order who advertises themselves as wanting spiritual wisdom, conspiring for the enslavement of humanity. And you think all of Germany knew how truly evil the Nazis were? Only those highest in the order 
understand their true purpose. For the rest, it really is about studying the mind and mastering life in this existence. What other existence is there? <laughs> oh, Colonel, if you only knew! The Titans promised the true Rusicrucian order, those who are sending the spies in your midst, not the ones journeying into themselves or whatever they call it. It's the old order, the one that has been around for 3,500 years. Give or take a decade. Anyway, they were promised ultimate enlightenment and mastery of time and space. Time travel? Yes. But the Divas control time, and they have been trying to strengthen our race to be able to fight off the Titans. Which is why you've been trying to change moments in history. And you keep thwarting us. Because you're changing who we are. Trying to destroy America and our space program? Prevent the Roman Empire from ever falling? All to preserve humanity and defeat the Titans. No, I don't buy it. Not one bit of it. Your buy-in is irrelevant, Colonel. The Titans are coming. We are now ill-prepared to fend them off. You've doomed us all. That's enough for now. Take him back to his cell. Colonel, assemble the team in the briefing room. Yes, sir. Colonel, remember, when the Titans come and Earth burns to ash, it was you who lit the fires. This is utter nonsense, General. We can't believe a word of it. Is it, though? That makes sense. Why would the bogeys be going back in time to change history? What do they gain by it? There is nothing about the Rosicrucians that says they're evil. They're not. At least the ones that are in the Order today, we... They are knowledge seekers. General? You're one of them, aren't you? I am a Mason, Colonel. We are Rosicrucian adjacent. We're not evil, and all the Rosicrucians I know aren't either. This other order, the one Alala talked about, I don't know what that is. But Calvo is dead because he and Roth somehow escaped and Roth put a bullet in his brain. We don't know it was Roth. You're right. There could be others. So you're with the bad guys or the good guys? I'm so confused. I am with you, all of you. Do I care that the Scherzbergs are Jewish? No. Do I care that Cox is a Protestant? Dannard's a Baptist? Ace is an atheist? Not one bit. You shouldn't care about my faith either. But we have to, General. You're aligned with the enemy. No, I am not. Now what? General, the prisoner has escaped. What? How? Sir, a bright light flashed in the cell. We were temporarily blinded, and sir, he was just gone. Colonel, there's reports of an unidentified flying object that appeared over the base and is now gone. Damn it! They got him. Honestly, I think we got all we can from him anyway. The question now is, what do we do? I want you all to listen to me carefully. I am not with the Rosicrucians. I am not one of them. My allegiance is with the United States Space Force, the President of the United States, and you, all of you. I would never put you purposefully in harm's way unless it was to protect this country or this planet. That's good enough for me, boss. Me too. Yes, sir. Us too. Yep. Colonel? General, I... I vetted you. Your attachments to the Masons never came to light. It wouldn't. Wouldn't it, though? I mean, for a secret organization, y'all are pretty loud and out front about it. Some of the young ones, they care more about flaunting being mysterious while the rest of us truly understand what it means to be part of the Order. Since we've been the boogeyman of pop culture, Freemasonry has been kind of outed. So some, like myself, choose to follow the old ways. But it also means something else, doesn't it? Yes, quite right. What? It means there could still be Rosicrucian spies among us. And we'd never know. End of record. Please return the audio file containment device to the courier upon exiting the secured room.
Continuum Force was created by Transmissions from Atlantis Entertainment. If you like this program and would like it to continue, please consider joining our Patreon. For as little as $1 a month, you can get access to exclusive Patreon content, behind-the-scenes interviews and footage, as well as early delivery of the new episode and access to episodes that won't be released to the public. The part of Connor Dannard was played by Marcus Sally. Buzz Borman was played by J.C. Delatore. Eli was played by Dr. Scott Vigay. Sharon was played by Debbie Vigay. Denise Cox was played by Rita Delatore. CTC Sally was voiced by Calliope Collicott. Ace Barber was played by Jesse Johnson. General O'Shaughnessy was played by Boyd Barrett. Other contributing voices guest starring in this episode include Carl A. Nordman as Henrik Alala and Miles Replica as Zed. This episode was written by J.C. Delatore. It was produced, directed, and edited by J.C. Delatore. This episode is a work of fiction. Any similarities to the living or dead, past or present, is purely coincidental. Historical figures events are a mixture of real history and fictionalized content. We encourage you to go to your local library and learn more about the Rosicrucians, the Mesozoic Era, and many other historical events. Until next time, thank you for listening to Continuing Force. Chauncey Haworth, Mark Slade, and Lothar Tuppen. The demented minds behind the Twisted Pulp Radio Hour bring you... Twisted Pulp Magazine. A journey beyond surreality to worlds you never knew or hoped existed. Worlds of the supernatural. Worlds of dark satire. Worlds of nightmarish futures. Twisted Pulp Magazine. If you thought the 21st century was weird enough already, think again. Twisted Pulp Magazine. A step beyond your grandfather's pulp. Available at digitalvaudeville.com. That's D-I-G-I-T-A-L-V-A-U-D-E-V-I-L-L-E.com. Music.